Today on the Beginner Series, we're gonna be ramping up the speed on my Team Associated Pro Rally by changing out a simple pinion gear. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and welcome to another episode of the beginner series. Now in this sixth installment of the beginner series, we're going to be going over pinion gears, how to change them out, gear mesh, what all of the different pinion numbers mean and getting a correct setup for your rig. So first off, I have my team associated pro rally right there and I want to get a little bit more speed out of it running just a standard 2S LiPo battery. Now with that, the easiest way to get a little bit more speed is by increasing the number of teeth on your pinion gear. So what is a pinion gear? The pinion gear is the gear that rides directly on the motor shaft. It determines the speed of the vehicle and the higher the teeth count on the pinion gear, the faster your vehicle go. The higher the teeth count, the more heat that will be generated by the electronics. It is a fine line. You have to find the sweet spot of how fast you wanna go versus how much heat you wanna create on your electronics. If you do plan to change out your pinion gear, definitely reference your owner's manual. It'll have specific gearing information, including how to correctly mesh your pinion to your spur gear. Good information inside of here, and I always keep this on hand in my pit bag. To switch out your pinion gear, you will need a couple of tools on hand, including for my particular vehicle here, the Pro Rally, I needed a 2.0 and 2.5 millimeter hex driver, and also some good thread lock. I like to use the Team Associated brand, it's real consistent, and it gives you a lot over the lifetime of your RC career. Selecting the right pinion gear is the key part of switching out your pinion. Now, not all pinions are created equal. There are different pitches of the teeth and also motor shaft sizes. Now on my Pro Rally, it takes a five millimeter shaft size and also a 32 pitch gearing. There are tons of different gearing on the market and here's a little explanation of those. Starting from right to left, we have the widest span of teeth here. This is called a mod one pinion or in old terms, module one. You'll find these a lot of times on eight scale buggies and some short course trucks, but definitely larger scale vehicles. Next, we have 32 pitch gearing. This is pretty much standard in most one tenth scale vehicles. A lot of the mid size vehicles use 32 pitch gearing and it tends to work out pretty good. Now on down the line, we have 48 pitch gearing so the higher the number in pitch the more teeth that you'll find in common sense terms basically how many number count the pitches is how many teeth you'll find in one inch so in 48 pitch you'll find 48 teeth in one inch 48 pitch you'll tend to see a lot in race vehicles for one tenth skill like one tenth skill buggies and some of these smaller scale vehicles now finally we have 64 pitch this is the finest, and you'll see this a lot of times in very small scale vehicles and some touring cars. The last option for pinion gears is the motor shaft size, or what size the hole was drilled for for the motor. Now with this, the far right hand side is a five millimeter shaft size, and the one on the left is a one eighth of an inch. A little bit different there, and you'll see in smaller scale vehicles and smaller motor sizes will have the eighth of an inch shaft, and some larger ones will have the five millimeter. Now on the Pro Rally, it's pretty easy to change out your pin and gear. You don't even have to do a lot of screw turning. It's a matter of just taking out this one screw right here and then removing the pinion gear. Now the Pro Rally operates on a cam style of motor mount, which once you loosen this screw right here, you'll be able to see that the motor will kind of swivel back and forth, creating the perfect gear mesh from your pinion up to your spur gear. I went ahead and took out the top plate here just so we can see everything a little bit more clearly from the spur gear right here down to the pinion. So let's go ahead and remove the stock pinion gear. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my two millimeter hex driver and go ahead and give it a quick turn on this set screw. Easy as that, and it just slides right off of the motor shaft. Now that we have the stock pinion gear off, we can inspect that it is a 32 pitch gear with a five millimeter shaft. So this is a 14 tooth pinion right here that came stock, 
Right here I have a 15 tooth. This will give us just a little bit more speed on the straights and of course give the added fun factor of going a little bit faster. So installing the new pinion gear, I like to go ahead and add a little bit of Loctite to the set screw of the new pinion just so everything will be locked in nice and tight. So we're gonna go ahead and add this into the pinion gear right here and then set it onto the motor shaft. Now when you are making this installation, you wanna note the D side of the motor shaft and that's where your set screw will ride. I slid on the pinion gear onto the motor shaft and went ahead and lined up the pinion gearing to the spur gear gearing, just so everything's in line. You don't want this offset too much. You want it matching up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down on the pinion set screw so it's fully seated on that D side of the motor shaft. So finally, setting the gear mesh is so crucial. Now, if you have a too tight of gear mesh, it will definitely create heat and unneeded wear on your components and can actually blow out your motor if the heat creates too much of an issue. I went ahead and mounted my microphone all the way down here so you can hear what I look for in the perfect gear mesh. Now the cam style motor mount actually swivels back and forth to create the amount of pressure the pinion puts on the spur gear. Now having the perfect pinion mesh is crucial and this is what I look for. I want that sound right there, that little clicking sound of the teeth just having a little bit of wiggle room in between each other. Once we have that, we wanna go ahead and tighten down on the cam lock right here. Get it all the way tight. I added a little bit of Loctite to this as well. And we wanna recheck for that sound. Perfect. Now that we have everything installed and everything's clamped down, we wanna give a quick spin of the spur gear and make sure that there's no tight spots on the pinion. We're gonna go ahead and just spin this all the way around and it feels the same tension from point A all the way around to the original side. Now the last thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and run your vehicle and just check the temperatures of both your ESC and also your motor. You wanna make sure that those are within the manufacturer's suggested temperature range and that'll keep the life of your vehicle lasting even longer. Well guys, that is it. That is my beginner series on how to change out your pinion gear, add a little bit of speed, add the fun factor, and have fun RCing. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about these items, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.